Hi, I'm Corey, and I want to show you a simple experiment that you can do at home to explore the science of strong shapes. In particular, we're going to be looking at columns, which are really important for holding up things like the ceiling. I've got two different types of paper column here, and I've just made these using some sticky tape and some paper. The first one is a square-based column or a square-based prism. And the second one is a circle-based column, also called a cylinder. So my question is, which of these columns is going to be stronger? To test that, I have some heavy books, and we're going to put them on top of the columns and see which one breaks first. So let's start with the square-based column. I'm going to put one book on, two books, three books. So we managed to get three books on top of the square columns. And if you look at the square column, you can see that it actually failed along the corners of the square. And this is because the corners are the weakest part of a square-based column. But what about our circle-based column? Because circle-based columns don't have any corners. So let's try putting some books on that one. So we can get one book, two books, three books, four books, five books, six books. So we managed to get almost six books on top of our circle-based columns. And if you have a look at the column, it's actually broken almost all the way around. And this is because the weight was spread much more evenly amongst the column. So I'd love to see your attempts to do this at home and see some pictures or some videos of your own columns and how many books you can fit on top.